Hey everybody, the Super Vader 400 here, back for another review, and this time, this is actually my second review of the 2016 film Suicide Squad. This is just going to be some things I forgot to mention in part one. Earlier today, well actually yesterday, yesterday, I was talking with a, um, I was talking with a friend of mine about the film and um he filled me in on some parts i didn't miss so this this video this whole video of me will be talk will be me talking about some of the stuff i missed in um suicide squad once again gotta start me off by saying suicide squad in my opinion is one of the best and most underrated comic book movies of all time and already it's already currently is my opinion is going to be surpassed next year with Wonder Woman and Justice League, but it's already the best DC Extended Universe movie. Man of Steel was a great start to this awesome cinematic universe. Batman v Superman was even better, and this film right here was even better. Not only did it continue from both of those films and served as and bridge it and served as the final build up for Justice League next year, but it also connected some of the dots some of the dots from the previous two movies because going into this film people I thought this movie was going to be one of the worst comic book movies of all time I was only watching it for the cast of characters that were appearing in this film you got Joker, Harley Quinn, Deadshot, um, Killer Croc, Captain Boomerang, Diablo, Slipknot, Katana um, and um, and um Captain Boomerang, Captain Boomerang, so yeah, you got all of these characters in one movie, you got all of these characters in um, one movie, and of course, Ben Affleck's Batman would be appearing in this film, would be appearing in this film, so I was interesting to see where his character would go after the events of Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, those were the only reasons I was watching this film, I thought the idea of a supervillain movie was stupid, then I was like, how does the battle, in Metro the battle of Metropolis, and of course, um, um, the death of Superman, the death of Superman, how does that lead into Suicide Squad? But in the beginning, Amanda Waller tells you that when Superman flew, when Superman flew, the world changed. And when he didn't fly, when he, when he didn't fly again, the world changed again. So now she needs to assemble a team, a new team of, a new team of criminals the criminals to save the world in his absence and of course the main plot is that the main plot is um um Amanda Waller's assistant June and I think Rick Flagg's um fiance or wife whatever whatever um she gets she gets possessed by a spiritual entity by a spiritual entity called the Enchantress and now the Enchantress completely takes over her body also takes over another guy's body and um and um creates her brother creates her brother who looks just like Stephen Wolf from Batman v Superman and of course um and of course um and of course and now wants to wants to um take her vengeance on the world for imprisoning her for it um for imprisoning for imprisoning her and since Superman is gone, she now needs to um, assemble a team of um, criminals. So she signs Deadshot, P Floyd Dalton, Floyd Floyd Lawton, um, 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 Doctor Harleen Quinzel, Harley Quinn, um, George Digger H Harkness. Captain Boomerang, Chato Santana, El Diablo, Waylon Jones, Killer Croc, um, um, and of course Christopher Wise as Slipknot, Slipknot, and of course Ta Tatsu Yesh Yamashiro as um Katana, the only member of the team who is not a criminal, and all of these members are um, and all of these um, people are led by. Amanda Waller and of course um um what's his name again oh yes Colonel Rick Flack Colonel um 
Colonel Rick Flag, um, what's his name? At first, they believe that they're, they're just taking out a terrorist organization, which to tell you the truth, I love how they address that in the movie because to tell you the truth, coming into this movie, I thought this was going to be like Winter Soldier and G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra with these group of people taking down a criminal organization, something like, um, something like Cobra or Hydra. Hydra, not um fighting a supernatural entity in the Enchantress. This is something you would call Superman for. Come to think of it, another reason I didn't think I was gonna like another problem I had going into this film. They call these ragtag group of heroes instead of calling, in my opinion, the team I wanted to see in the movie I wanted them to make, and that was the Justice League Dark with Constantine, Dead Man, um. Katana, Spectre, Swamp Thing, and many more. These are the people you needed to call to deal with this um threat, to deal with this threat. But um, and this right here was towards the middle where the film started to um for most people it started to fall apart. This is where most people say it was good up until the uh up until the middle where um the Enchantress created some um some um zombie mummy looking m mummy looking creatures for the Suicide Squad members to fight. I thought that whole scene was awesome. I thought every action scene was awesome. See, unlike Batman v Superman and Man of Steel, which were awesome movies, those movies had like t terrible pacing issues. These movies had everything. These movies, in my opinion, had a great, this movie had everything. A great story, a large and colorful cast of characters, man. And finally, um, kick-ass action. And finally, an awesome soundtrack. It was just a fun Fun, fun movie. Never a dull moment in this movie. From beginning to end. From the um, opening scene. From the opening scene. All the way to the um, all the way to the end. This movie right here was awesome. Whereas um, Batman v Superman and Man of Steel. There were several scenes where both of those movies drags. Both of those movies are awesome. But both of those movies have serious pacing issues. Here, never a dull moment in this um movie and like i said the only problem i had and after seeing this awesome film especially eight times now eight times now, i've just seen it for the eighth time the only thing i did not like about this movie about this movie was um was the was the killing off was the killing off of the character slipknot and i don't mind you killing him off but they had to kill him off in such a terrible anticlimactic fashion fashion by having by blowing him up when he tried to escape when he tried to escape yeah they put bombs around the people's necks around the people's necks around the people's necks just in case they uh try to um rebel or escape rebel or um escape and um and he got killed off in such an anticlimactic fashion um i don't mind them killing him off but at least do it towards the end i want to see these people fight man so I didn't like them killing him off in an anticlimactic fashion, but I was talking with a friend and he said I probably should have seen his death coming because if you notice, he's not in a lot of the trailers. I only watched one trailer, which was which also made the film good. I didn't watch a bunch of trailers, so the appearance of Enchantress surprised the hell out of me. Like I said, I was expecting them to, to fight a terrorist organization, but instead they were fighting um, Enchantress. See, I didn't see the rest of the trailers. And speaking of the rest of the trailers, Joker, who was also awesome, Jared Leto is Joker, who was also awesome in this movie. Um um he didn't um he didn't play a big part he didn't play that big of a part in this film like I thought he was. The the trailers had the trailers and posters had it like seemed like he was the main character, but no, it ended up being Will Smith, Floyd Lawton, Deadshot's character. He was pretty much the main character's main character of this film. But um he was good in this film. Jared Leto was awesome. Only thing I don't like about it is Joker. It's the same thing with Heath Ledger too. Is that um, they capture the deranged psychoticness of Joker, but they don't capture the silliness. So if I had to choose, I would think Jack Nicholson, Jack Nicholson, he'll even Caesar Romero from the um, the Adam West Batman television show will probably be the best Jokers, man. They're not. They're missing his silliness, man. But yeah, this guy was awesome, and I also love the pink Lamborghini song portrayed by rick ross i don't even like rick ross but that, that that was an awesome song and like i said this film had an awesome soundtrack you had um you had the little wayne um little wayne and logic rap song suffer sucker for pain sucker for pain um you, um then you had um 
Kel Hanani, if I pronounce her name right, who the gangster song, who that was the song when um Harley when they were flashbacking to Harley Quinn's origin, where where her and Joker jump into the ass, jump into the chemicals. Um, um, you got Eminem's Guess Who's Back. I think that's what it's called. I I've heard that song several times, but I don't remember what it was called. I call it Guess Who's Back because that's the part I remember the most. Guess Who's Back. Come again, something like that. Um, then of course you had um um. Then you had that. Then of course in the beginning, I keep forgetting. I don't know what that song is called, but I've heard it so many times. The western song that appears in the beginning, where Will Smith is um practicing, um 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 is um practicing in humor humor on um, Will Smith in the beginning. He says. He says, you'll get paid after the, uh, in his flashback, his debt shot, you'll get paid after your crimes, a after after your job is finished. He says, no, uh no money, no honey, no money, no honey. He says, he, he, he says we're not the guys you want to play with. We're not the guys you want to play with. He says, um, he says, fine, fine, here. And they, and they, 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 they give him the money. Then, then he says, he says, now double it for being a dickhead. Now double it for being a um, dickhead. And, uh, and like I said, and he kills the guy. Then he kills the guy, and then um, one of the best scenes, one of the scenes I came for, Batman, it's over, Deadshot, it's over, Deadshot, but I don't want to do this in front of your daughter. Deadshot tries to, um, Deadshot tries to shoot him, Batman kicks him, he tries to punch, Batman punches him in, and then Deadshot's prepared to shoot, Zoe gets in the way, and then when Deadshot um, surrenders, powerful scene right there. From this scene onward, I was hooked, man, from this scene where I was hooked. Like I said, every actor brought their A game. Every actor was great in this film. But if I had to say MVPs, it will be, it will be um, the MVPs of the film. It would be um, Margaret Robbie as Harley Quinn, Joel Kin Kinnaman as Rick Flag, um, um, Will Smith as Floyd Lawton, Deadshot, and of course um. And of course, Jay Hernandez as um Chato Santana, El Diablo, El Diablo, Joel Kitman. I saw him in the RoboCop remake, in the RoboCop reboot. He's much better here than he was um in that film. Co Joel Kitman, in my opinion, is an awesome action star, but he's not that good. He he was in the RoboCop film. He wasn't that good of an actor. He was much better here in this film. Um, Jai Courtney, who portrayed. Captain Boomerang. I saw him in I Frankenstein as Gideon. He was awesome in that film and I saw and he was awesome here too. Um the guy portraying Killer Croc. Killer Croc didn't say much in this film, but he but he was in this film. His name is hard to pronounce. Adwell Akino Agamaje. Agamaje. Well anyway, um I'm a huge fan of this guy. He's he was a minor antagonist as Lochna in the Mummy Returns. He was also heavy duty in G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra. He also had a role in the second Thor movie. Um, what's his name? What's his name? So um he was awesome. He was awesome in this film. You know Killer Croc didn't say much in this film. Uh what's his name? What's his name? Um 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 So um like I said, just an just an awesome film, man. Like I said, I think it's one of the best and most underrated comic book films of all time. Coming into this, I thought this was gonna be the one of the worst comic book movies of all time, and the worst in the DC extended universe. Because, like I said, it didn't appear to be in the same universe as the same as the same as the as the last two films we saw. But like I said, this was an awesome film. Like I said, I think this is the best DC extended universe film, and DC is they're just gonna get better from here on in. Just gonna get better from here on out. Like I said, um, just an awesome film, man. It, um, just an awesome film, and I'm so happy I, um, so happy I, um, got to see this film. I've watched this film for the eighth time now, man, and, um, yeah, and then I've also done some research on the, um, characters, done some research on the characters and the Suicide Squad comic book. I was familiar with most of the characters in this film, but I was not familiar with the team Suicide Squad. And it turns out Suicide Squad dates back to the 50s, which is a team led by Rick Flagg. Rick Flagg and then the New 52, the New 52, Floyd Lawton, Deadshot, they are spot on with the comic books. There are some differences.
but they are spot on in Floyd Lawton, despite being a different race. Will Smith, despite being a different race, he is spot, spot on with the Floyd Daw Lawton dead shot character, all the way down to the daughter, the costume, everything, everything, man. And um, um, so um, so um, yeah, like I said, this is an awesome film, and see, this is a film I didn't care. This is the film I initially didn't care about. Now, I want to see more Suicide Squad. I want to see where these guys end up next so I'm happy to hear that the film is is doing well in the box office and there pretty much will be a sequel it wasn't doing good at the box office then again that was that was that was actually when it just came out but when I went to go see it it wasn't doing as good at the box office but it quickly shot up thanks to the international um people so um the international market so um yeah um yeah just another awesome movie man all right um well, this was my second review of uh, Suicide Squad. All right. Doug out.